of the amateurs in the Australian levels and internationally and then they've since turned professional just recently but they've been living in Sydney for maybe 
three years. Uh, the family are telling me five. About, about three, it sounds like, anyway. They and to do their best over there, and, um, and they've turned professional recently, and, and they've had a, a really good result in Melbourne, and we wish them the best of luck, of course, because they're, they're still part of the Humphreys family. That's how we see them. Um, they're going to just have a quick change and come back. They said, just fill in and tell them all about our achievements. And I said, well, that's the first five seconds. <laughs> no, their, their achievements have been good and there's certainly a whole lot more to come. So we're ready now to enjoy what I know will be a fabulous tango.
when I got my people to talk to your people, the manager said, three dances is all they'll do unless it's the Grammys or something special. Right. So we, we've had three and we know that's all you planned and that's what you told us and we said, okay. But what would you say was, if we got our checkbook out, then we open it. What would you say is the classic dance of the ballroom dancers? So, I, I suspect the answer I was hoping for was the slow funk shot. We haven't seen it, and, and I just thought, you know, if, again, if I just get my people to speak to your people, and just adjust that check, would you do that for us? I have to tell you, ladies and gentlemen, what, what we're looking at here is just quality, professional quality ballroom dancing. Um, we, we're used to seeing really good couples here at Humphreys and we're very um, thankful to have an involvement with them but David and Hannah were with us for many years and have always been fantastic in every way and was a part of our studio and we're just delighted to have them back tonight on a special night to do um, a show even though they live in Sydney. The family's here and they jumped at the opportunity to come back and do a show for you tonight so it's not the show.
to say a few words. The last couple of times I haven't because I've looked back in the past and thought, was that me saying all that stupid stuff? Anyway, um, I keep it very basic and simple. I've ran out of jokes. Good ones anyway. I haven't got a joke for you. Um, so one of my most important jobs tonight, I think, was to thank our wonderful staff that we have here at Humphreys. We keep the place ticking over. I'm getting older. Men's getting older. We're all getting older. And we're very lucky to have this a fantastic young staff around us to keep things ticking along. And at the bottom of my heart, I thank all those staff very, very much. Very, very much. And um, Mima has gone, unfortunately. Mima helps a lot with catering at our fundraising functions. Uh, but unfortunately, she's gone home, so thank you, Mima, if you can hear it. Okay. And um, Pamela Humphreys and Joseph, they keep the ball rolling in the school program. Um, they keep us all in line, organised. It, it takes incredible organisation um, for schools. For instance, last Tuesday night we had 12 school socials on the one night. So you've got a pretty poor staff, 12 nights of staff, and it takes a lot of organising um, for those sort of evenings. Thank you very much. And Jackie over here, who um, runs our website and answers your emails. Thank you, Jackie, and does it for us as well. And here's the guy I was going to thank. Look at him. You're taking me, Martin, are you? You're photographing me. And Martin is always out there with his camera. And if you want to send a video then he produced or something, he's there to step in and, and produce that for us. In the new year, we, maybe we'll get our projector going. It's been up there for about six months. Um, we haven't had time to have a, a projector evening. The studio is used every night of the week, just about. We just haven't had time to do anything about it. So hopefully in the new year, when things are a bit quieter, we'll have a, a movie night shows some of the top dancing in the world and some of our old shows that we used to do from way back. And Dr. Michelle, is she? Was oh, there she is, Dr. Michelle. Yeah. Thank you very much for keeping me alive, Dr. Michelle. <laughs> Michelle's my doctor, she's our family doctor, she's Glenn's doctor. My doctor. And someone else's doctor. <laughs> she actually did save me life once. When I had Legionnaire's bacteria. And then if she hadn't come down on a day off on a Sunday, I might not have been here. Thank you, Michelle. And David and Hannah, thank you for doing that beautiful show. Yeah. Yeah. Now, I've been dancing longer than you, and I've tripped over many, many times. <laughs> yeah. More so, my partner has fell down in front of me, and I fell on top of her. Woohoo! So she dragged me down the floor, I don't know what it was, but anyway, that's happened quite a few times when I've been taking lessons. One, day, one time dancing at the Worlds, I tripped over someone's leg sticking out and did about three rollovers on the floor. Another time we were in an exhibition contest and Pam, Pamela Humphreys, Pamela Martin now, her heel got caught in my shoelace in an exhibition number. So I had to get down and unravel that picked up the routine, and we still won the competition. So, uh... Now, I'd like those people that were scholarship people come out here 
that you're a scholarship person and finished up a dance teacher or a competitor. Can those people come out here? Are you still here? Anyone that is a come out here? Reese, Scott, Riley, Rachel, and these young ladies here. Tiffany. And we run a huge school program and we offer our school kids nearly a half year free dance lessons. And that's how these people came to the studio and they became teachers for us and they're also top competitors. So, there you are. Unfortunately, we're losing one of them. Scott went to back to uni and through his teaching in the studio, kept him in a part-time job so he could go through uni. And now he's a full-time qualified primary school teacher. And we did some relief teaching up in the Kimberleys at Wonka Junker, <laughs> which is about six hours drive out of Broome. Broome. Yeah. <laughs> and he's got a three year contract up there. <laughs> he's got an introduction to the dance up there as well, okay? Yeah. All right. Anyway, I didn't give him a big speech at our family cafe last weekend, but a lot of people went here, and there's a lot of people here are going to miss you, Scott. I can see your faces looking at you. Okay, I see you. are going to miss you. are going to miss you, okay? But we all wish you all the best, don't we? Give me a big hand, man. Thank you. I haven't missed anybody, but um, I probably have. You missed Warwick. Anyone that does anything for the studio, thank you very much. Warwick. What about Warwick? What about Warwick? You missed Warwick. Tell us the story of Warwick before. <laughs> Tell us again. Uh, thank you, Warwick. I'm not going to tell you about it. They already know, do they? Okay. Let's get on with the show. I've spoken enough now. Okay? Here's our dear Audrey here. Hey! That's right, we did. We, we've been at this studio here. We've been in Big Park for 52 years, but we've been here 25 years, I think. And when we opened here, Audrey brought that clock for us up on the wall. Audrey used to sit in the office there and balance our books. Somehow, didn't you? Do they always balance? Or maybe they did that. <laughs> and Tiffany, where is she? There she is. Thank you for all the hard administration stuff you do on Saturdays. She was born into it. She does a great job. Okay. I think that's it. You better get rid of me, Ben. Thank you very much. And thank you to everyone. You thank everybody else, but of course, we all thank you because uh, you're a